Five Reasons Why Trump Was Better Than Bush. Find out on the next segment. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Luis Discusses Everything. And today we're going to discuss why President Donald Trump was better than President George W. Bush Jr. And the reason I want to make this video is because ever since the 2016 election of Donald J. Trump to the White House, there's been kind of like a rupture of what is considered to be a good president, what is not considered to be a good president. There is kind of like the vilification of Trump, I would say the warranted vilification of Trump, but there is also the engrandizement of former figures that were equally, if not more, terrible than Trump, such as uh, the one you see on the screen right now, which is George W. Bush Jr. It is very easy to like equate Donald Trump with like the ultimate worst example of a president and simply focus on that and just ignore all the horrors of the past. And I wanted to make this video to kind of like shine a light as to like the big differences between them two. For those of you who are not familiar, George W. Bush Jr. took office in 2001 and left office after two terms in 2009 with the uh, subsequent election of Obama. After he left office, um, a number of things occurred which were substantially, which made the U.S. substantially worse than it already was. Um, during the 90s, there was like a huge surplus in the economy after the Clinton era, that's another topic, and after the uh, George Bush father era or the uh, heirs of the Reagan era, right? Um, as a big disclaimer, I don't like any of these presidents. I think both of these presidents were terrible for the country, and uh, we are still feeling the side effects of their uh, mandates. But if I were to compare um, apples to apples in this case, right, uh, if I were to compare um, Donald Trump versus George W. Bush, I would say that George W. Bush was substantially worse than Donald Trump. I'm going to give you five reasons why. Reason number one, 9-11 attacks. Now you can say, Luis, the 9-11 attacks were not the fault of George W. Bush. Yes and no. The 9-11 attacks were a horrific event in American history, which saw the deaths of uh, upwards of, if, not if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, 3,000 people uh, dead. It happened in September 11, uh, 2001. Uh, as you can see here in the image. Now, there were a number of steps that the president at the time, George W. Bush, could have taken to prevent such attacks. They have fair warnings from the Russians and the Chinese about the fact that these attacks were going to happen. In fact, there was an attack in the 90s that was kind of like a foreshadowing of the attack that occurred in 2001. Um, the previous attack in the 90s saw a failed bombing of the Twin Towers uh, close to like the parking lots or the basement of the towers, right? So not only did uh, did they have previous warnings from other nations that, hey, something's up, something might happen, but they also had, uh, or George W. Bush had evidence or warning up that this might in fact happen. So I would leave a big reason behind this to security negligence on the part of the U.S. government under George W. Bush. Reason number two why George W. Bush is a worse president than Donald Trump, and that is a 2008 financial crisis. Yes, Obama bore the brunt of kind of like fixing this um, conundrum, but a lot of this financial crisis was the result of continued deregulation under the Bush administration, the George W. Bush administration. And I don't need to... Uh, run over the calamity that this was, but essentially um, the 2008 financial crisis or the Great Recession, as it is known under financial circles, was a period in time in the United States where there was a huge uh, housing bubble in which uh, the 
uh, prices of fixed assets such as houses in this case uh, ballooned to enormous levels and caused a cascading effect across the uh, economy. Uh, since for the first time in U.S. history, a great portion of the economy was financialized due to um, the advent of deregulation starting from the Reagan era onward, that created a huge sub-mortgage crisis which eventually popped and caused the unemployment rates to rise to 9% by, the, by 2010. That's two years after the, the, um, the events, but you get the picture. Uh, the bailing out of these financial institutions such as um, Morgan Stanley and whatnot and Goldman Sachs and such. But the onset of the financial crisis was indeed handled by the Bush administration. So in other words, this would be the kind of the second biggest reason why the Bush administration was worse than the Trump administration. The third reason is the No Child Left Behind Act. Now, you could say this, this was one of the better uh, provisions under the uh, Bush administration. This was actually one of the first things that went through under the Bush administration. But it did not solve much in the way of uh, the education system. It was more of a, an incentive to distinguish between lower income students and higher income students. It created a wider gap between lower income students and higher income students, even though kind of like the purpose of this bill was rather the opposite, which was to actually provide better access or better funding to lower income schools. But because it was standard based, um, it created a wider gap between higher income schools and lower income schools. For example, you would have uh, funding allocated to a district based on their scores. And, norm and nominally, those districts that had lower scores were also districts that had lower funding and also disproportionately African-American and Latino, etc. So it created kind of like a racial gap that was already a problem before the act, but it, it was exacerbated after the no, no Child Left Behind. Uh, reason number four, Afghanistan war. Now you can say, wait a minute, Luis, the Afghanistan war was a necessary war because after 2001 or the 9-11 and 9 attacks, we needed to find Al-Qaeda. We needed to kill the Al-Qaeda presence and whatnot, yada, yada, yada. Yes. Initially, the war or the quote unquote good war that was dubbed under the um, Bush administration and the Obama administration mission was to capture Osama bin Laden, uh, neutralize him uh, and also neutralize the Al Qaeda presence in Afghanistan. Right. The initial estimates of that were less than one year. Right. They were supposed to sweep in in less than one year, neutralize Al Qaeda and eliminate Al Qaeda threat, right? Osama bin Laden. But the problem was that Bush led, in my opinion, Bush led the military industrial complex stay in a whopping 20 years. It was not only Bush, it was also Obama and then Trump and finally Biden took them out. But big reason why they stayed there was because Bush allowed it. Bush allowed them to stay a prolonged period of time. Now, the fifth and final reason why Donald Trump was a better president than Bush was the Iraq war. So the Iraq war was a military intervention by the United States that uh, eventually culminated into a, a series of civil wars later on. This conflict was a completely unnecessary war that originated from the 9-11 attack. So uh, Bush took the opportunity of to enter the conflict or to enter Iraq, um, eliminate Saddam Hussein's dictatorship, and then guarantee the selling of oil to the United States. Right. So in essence, the overall arching goal of this video is to detoxify our minds and and kind of like be critical about our own mindset when it comes to uh leadership in our country right yes trump did terrible things including but not limited to january 6 included but not limited to trump tax cuts uh, which benefited uh, the rich and, and benefited um, oil companies, coal companies and whatnot, benefited financial institutions and Wall Street alike, uh, 
It was a better America for the rich 1% under him. But I would argue that the Bush era was far worse in the sense that created the conditions for a Trump. It created the conditions for a hyper-financialized system, a corporate welfare or welfare for the rich. Uh, it created a system that prioritized corporations over individuals, prioritized corporations over workers, prioritized the financialization of our economy. And it expanded the surveillance system to unprecedented um, levels, right? That is not to say that neither of these uh, gentlemen were good in any uh, form or fashion. I think they were both both horrendous uh, presidents and they did more damage than good. But in the nuance of it would be that Trump was better than Bush. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends. Check out the merch store if you so like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.